Hey Spikes, how's it going this week? Uh, we're back here again with some more uh, competitive content. Uh, we're trying out a couple different decks that we haven't really had a lot of screen time with, uh, except for maybe one of them. Um, but it should be a really interesting game. I'm actually starting this off on first in turn order, and I'm playing Thrasios and Timna Razakats. So it's a deck that was made by Shaper Savant on the CEDH subreddit. Mm. He's nice. okay, I guess. He's like, yeah. he's fine. Uh, just ask him if it's a shiny Mew in his profile picture. So I, I don't know if anyone's asked that. <laughs> yet, but. Uh, yeah, I'm playing uh, Anna Fans of the Foremost. This is a deck called uh, Raspberry Jam. Uh, it uh, is a deck that was created by Nudzors, who is actually one of the hosts of the Into the North podcast. Uh, great, talented deck builder. And if you haven't checked out the podcast, make sure you do that. Um, like, after you watch this video, though. <laughs> yeah. Good decks, terrible puns. <laughs> uh, I'm playing Blood Pod this week. And I'm looking forward to this matchup against primarily creature decks <laughs> and losing because of it. <laughs> uh, similarly, but a little different, I'm playing uh, the tried and true Zer the Enchanter. And I'm looking forward to playing against uh, Stax E decks and losing. Because uh, I'm going to take damage and not be able to add nauseum for value or something, probably. Mine's a raspberry deck. I, I hate games. <laughs> Phil's starting this Yeah, off. I am starting this off, so I'm going to start by drawing a card. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm going to play this Breeding Pool untapped, wow. starting this off strong. Going to 38. And with that Breeding Pool, I'm going to tap it for a blue, and I'm going to cast Mystic Reborn. Oh! Must be nice. It yeah. is. Thanks for asking. I'm going to pass the turn. Who asked? <laughs> I'm going to play a Temple Garden untapped. Day 38. I'm going to play a Mana Crypt. Draw. I Let's will do. not pay the four. Oh, interesting. <laughs> and then I'm going to cast a Thalia, Garden, Guardian of Thraden. Oh, is that a non creature Thalia? No. Darn. And then I'll pass the turn. Well, my hand just got uh, literally unplayable. Are you paying the five? <laughs> <laughs> Savannah into an Elvish Mystic. Pass. Wow. Uh, I'll draw. Oh, that's a three mana spell. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play this Ancient Tomb. You play one drop? Uh, I'm going to uh, take ring. two and cast this Lotus Petal, paying the one for Thalia and not Ugh. for uh, Mystic Remora. Right, so and uh, Thalia to draw. Yep. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I have to pass the turn. Okay. I'm going to untap, uh, trigger the cumulative upkeep of Mystic Remora. I'm not going to pay for Mystic Remora. I yeah. think it's already, it's, it's already paid off here. Uh, I will draw. I'm going to play this Wooded Foothills, as well as play this Arbor Elf. And with seven cards in hand, I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. I'll untap. Well, from Crypt, evens damage. No, no damage. damage. Draw a card. Get two. I will. And I think I'm just going to pass the turn. Ooh. Untap, draw. Play a City of Brass. Tap Elvish Mystic for a green. To play Mana Crypt, tap Mana Crypt, and Savannah for White and City of Brass for oh we can actually oh tap Mana oh wow <laughs> oh <laughs> <laughs> hold on there there are some Jerry. revelations going on <laughs> the Jerry's journey of self discovery <laughs> Jerry's apparently drunk <laughs> that checks out that. Does in fact check out. Uh, tap mana crit for two colorless. Okay. Savannah for a green. Yes. City of Brass for a red. Oh. So I got Jerry at thirty nine. Green is red. Tana. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually cast Tana. Oh. Had, wow. Has anyone ever cast this one before? Jerry was just saying before the game. I never planned on casting this, which is why he's putting it under ten now. <laughs> but now I'm casting this Tana and passing the turn. That's pretty wild. Uh, I'm gonna untap, and uh, I'm gonna draw for my turn. Oh, another uh, literally unplayable card. Uh, I have to take two off of this ancient tomb. Uh, go for 34 and crack this lotus petal uh, to play this talisman of dominance. Oof. And uh, pass the turn. All 
Alright, uh, at the end of your turn, I'm going to crack this Wooded Foothills going to 37. Alright, uh, and off of the Wooded Foothills, I'm actually going to find an Overgrown Tomb tapped. Yes, sir. Because I would much rather uh, top deck the Bayou than the Overgrown Tomb. Did you do you it? Know? Did you top deck the Bayou? I did not. Uh, <laughs> However, sucks to suck. Um, that's a City of Brass over there? It is. Oh. Cool. What mana does that produce, or what could it produce? It can damage? produce mana of any color. <laughs> I'm going to play this Exotic Orchard. It's very exotic. Uh, and then tapping it for a white, and then this for a black, I'm going to cast Timber the Weaver. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to move to combat, and I'm attack going me. to attack Elliot for one. Yep, I'll go to 33. All right. And then in my post-combat main phase, I'm going to pay one and draw one. Okay, fill up 37. 36. 36. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. All right. Uh, then I actually have to move to my discard step, Good. which is fine because I'm going to discard this Jenga Taxius that I top decked. Huh. And I'll pass the turn. Okay, on tap. Uh, eating damage. Oh, that's a one for those of you at home. <laughs> for those of you that are not us. Mm-hmm. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just going to pass the turn. Yeah. On tap, roll for mana crits, evens I take damage. I do not take hey. damage. Draw for turn. I can't do everything I want to do. Huh. What's yeah. it like to be able to do literally anything? <laughs> <laughs> you can't do my only what you had. <laughs> Jimbo actually left up his Thalia this time. Hey man, people are going to start drawing cards if they attack me. So Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll have you know I don't think I'm ever blocking anybody until I'm dead. So I'm playing Overgrown Tomb untapped, going down to 37. And then I will be forgetting heavily, I guess. <laughs> it's a strategic play. <laughs> I will be tapping... So I'm tapping Savannah for a white, uh, Overgrown Tomb for a black, and two colorless. Floating a colorless, attempt to cast Timna. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. No effects. Um, so in combat... What are you going to do? Probably attack. Probably me. Yeah. At least you can only attack one of us. That's not necessarily true. You gonna block with your Timna there over there, bud? Maybe. That's just a game too. What's it to you? Do I wanna that that actually that's probably worth it. Using Tana as a four mana removal spell, probably just worth it. I like uh, that logic. I'm gonna swing uh Tana at Bill. Elvish Mystic at Elliot. I have no effects. <sighs> yeah, I'm not gonna block. <laughs> So uh, Elliot going down to 32, Bill going down to 34. I'm going to get two untapped sapperlings. You are. That's pretty powerful. And then uh, in your post-combat main. I'm going to pay two to draw two. Okay. Don't you get three? No, it's no, uh, per damage. damage dealt by her. By ten. Oh, by ten. Or by by ten. Yeah. Okay. Which one is it? Who's on first? I have you going to 35. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. what I was writing down. Sorry. Uh, so I'm going to draw two. Unos. Dos. Tres. Octro. This is what I mean, I've already played my land for the Quattro. turn. Quattro. My favorite thing is when he says Missa Worldwide and then lists like three towns in the United <laughs> States. <laughs> Valley is still in play. Pass the turn. I'm going to untap. And let's go, big money, no whammies. Oh, whoo! Snow covered island. Uh, I'm going to use this blue and this for a colorless. And cast a preordain. I'm gonna scry two cards. I'm gonna put both of those cards oh, no. so far on the bottom of my library that they'll never be seen again, hopefully. I mean, and the table. draw a card. Not another <laughs> land. I'm gonna pass the turn. Hey, you're three All cards right. closer. Alright, I'm gonna I'll untap. Cast another single cantrip next turn. Well, let's go try. <laughs> okay. Pyroblast. 
Ooh. can't do it right now. Don't Let's worry. see. So my non-creature spells cost one more, do they? That's correct. That is what? what? Thalia Garden of Thraven. What about my creature spells? They're fine? They're fine. They're fine. Okay. I'm going to play this flooded strand. That's not a creature. Oh, you're right. Um, <laughs> I am going to... How many of these things do I actually want to do? All of them. James has three mana. And... That's interesting. I'm just going to do the one thing. Very good. Your face says that you want to do more than the one. Yeah, hang on. Mm. I'm going to move to combat. Oh. I'm going to attack Elliot for two with lifelink. Yeah, I'll go to 30. Will goes to 36. And then in my post-combat main, I'm going to pay a life and draw a card. Will goes to 35. Five. And there is a saying. What are we doing if we're not going for it? That is the saying. I think that's the saying that I'm going to invoke right now. Not evoke. Uh, but I am going to cast reanimate target to reduce access. Oh no. Mm. I'm so used to James having counter spells. Right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, I have no effects. I have no effects? I have no effects. Uh, I'm going to lose 10 life. Yeah, go to uh, 25. And I'm going to attempt to pass priority to move to my end step and not get source to flash used. How does Jin get taxis worded? At the beginning of my end step, I draw seven cards. Okay. And your hand size is reduced by seven. So you can respond at the end of his main phase? Yes. I'm going to pass priority. Pass priority. Pass priority. Right. Uh, trigger Jenga Taxes. Draw a lot of cards. Two, four, six, seven. And then I do have to move to my discard. Um, but that's still fairly worth it, I'd say. All right, and I'm going to discard uh, Noxious Revival, Notion Thief, Morphic Pool, Leon and Relic Order, Birds of Paradise, Cephalid Coliseum, and Sylvan Library. Hmm. Mm. He snuck uh, Leon and Relic Order yeah. in the middle there. Uh, in, your, <laughs> in your cleanup, I have a spell. Okay, uh, that's cool. I'm going to cast Ape Mind Sensor. Sure. It's mm. a good spell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to tap. <sighs> Mana Crypt Trigger, Evens Damage. Yes. Damage. <laughs> Thirty six. Thirty five. Oh thirty five, yeah. That's right. You shocked yourself. You shocked yourself. Yep. Alright, I'd like to draw a card. Yep. Hmm. You're gonna have to discard all these things, eh? Yes. Your hand all size is going to go or is currently, in fact, zero. zero. Because if I don't want it to be, then get you rid of the Jimmy taxis. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Jerry. Uh, here's an awful proposal for you. I like awful proposals. I have a toxic deluge in my hand. I'm not going to let this happen. Whoa. I'm getting rid of the Jenga taxis. I'm not going to let. I'm not going to let white white boy. Interesting. Okay, Interesting. you can discard your hand instead. Hey, I never said I wasn't going to get rid of the Jin Katakias. Sure. Mm -hmm. I'm just not going to get rid of my board uh, to do it. Oh, you're right. Okay, so I am going to cast Crop Rotation. Sacrificing, this is the additional, so I have one colorless floating. Sacrifice the Temple Garden. And I'll uh, search. Off of the uh, crop rotation. I'm going to put a scrubland into play. Do you still have a colorless floating? I do. Yes. I'm going to tap this for black and cast dark compound. Ooh. And then I'm Ooh. going to pass the turn. Bark bonfire. Okay, discard your hand, please. Yep. I'm going to discard Toxic Deluge, Mox Diamond, Demonic Tutor, Loyal Retainers, and Abrupt Decay. Oof. That's a, that's a hand. That's a I hand. mean, it would have been if I had a black source. Um, it would have been like if I had one. Prior to now, but yeah, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to untap. I'm going to evens take damage off of this mana crypt. That's yes, damage. you are. That is, as they call it, damage. Jerry 32? 32. You draw this card for turn. 
And then I am going to play a Swamp. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tap Mana Crypt for two colorless and a City of Brass for a red, taking a pain off of the City of Brass. If you won. Uh, I think I know what's coming. I'm going to Fire Covenant. X equals four, uh, so six, seven, eight, nine. Not so, the Avon Mind Sensor? Not the Avon Mind Sensor. Okay. I have no effects. I have a response. I'm going to crack this flooded strand, mm -hmm. uh, go to 24, and look at my top four cards. With? With. I have a response after whiffing on my flooded strand. Uh, I'm going to use Arbor Elf to untap Overgrown Tomb. Okay. And I have no further effects. Okay. So, uh, so, sorry, it was four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. So Jerry goes to 22. 22. I'm feeling 22. That's too bad. It is too bad. I will then move to combat. Mm -hmm. I'll swing Timna at Bill, Tana at Elliot, and two sapperlings at uh, James. I have no effects. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have like Decatur Tana. Yeah, that's good. Nice. Okay. Timna goes to the command zone and costs two more. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Blockers. I'm going to declare no blocks. No uh, blocks. So I'll take two. And I take two. Okay. And I take nothing. So I go to 28. And Jim goes to 33. Yep. And, and Jerry doesn't makes, gain any life. I make two more saplings off of Tana. Yes. Mm -hmm. Second main phase. Yes, sir. I will tap Overgrown Tomb for a green and play a Root Maze. Oh no. <laughs> yep. I will then pass the turn. Uh, untap. Uh, draw for my turn. Ooh. Uh, yeah, that one's kind of rough, but, uh, you know, we gotta do what we gotta do at this point. Uh, so I'm going to take two off this Ancient Tomb and one off of this Talisman, adding a black. Elliot goes to 25. Yep. Uh, with a colorless floating, I'm going to Knight's Whisper. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go to 23. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and draw two cards. Hey, you know what they say, Elliot? As long as you got life, you're still in the game. You're not wrong. That is what they say. Uh-huh. So the card that I drew... Doesn't really matter. Well, no, yeah, it super matters because of this root maze. Ooh. And the Avon Mind Sensor. Yeah, fetches are extremely fetches bad. Fetches are so bad right now. I'm going to play the Scalding Tar and Tapped and pass the turn. All right. Untap. Draw. Uh, that's really sad. But I am going to play this Underground Sea Tapped. As well as cast Thrasios. That's a blocker. It's a 1 3, and I will pass the turn. Okay. Untap. Evens damage off Mana Crypt. No damage. Draw a card. Pass the turn. Untap. Evens I take damage off of Mana Crypt. I don't take damage. Tapping. I have four uh -huh. untapped saplings now. <laughs> Untap partway, uh, roll for mana crypt in between. <laughs> gonna play a guy's cradle. Oh no. It enters play tapped. Oh good. <laughs> it does enter play tapped. Nice root maze. Thanks, man. <laughs> So I can play Timna again. A A plus Rocky. A sap Rocky? I think that's what he was maybe going for. <laughs> we'll give him the benefit of the doubt on this one. I'm gonna play Timna again. You got you a Timna. Have. Again. I will move to combat. This is a one three. It is a one three. I'll swing uh two sapperlings at James. 
two sapperlings at Bill, uh, Tana at Elliot. And I'll block with the sapperlings. Yep. I have no blocks. No blocks. So I go to 21. I go to 31. And Bill goes to 23. Yes. What do you what did you go to, Elliot? 21. 21. What were you at? I was at 23. Yeah. I thought oh I thought you were at 22. No. Oh that's me. Oh yeah, you're at 20. Yeah, you're at 22. So you're gonna be going to 20. Yeah, to recap, I got Bill at 23, me at 31, Jerry at 22, and Elliot at 21. Yes. Yeah. 22. Second main phase, I'm gonna pay three, draw three, so I'm going down to 19. Yes, sir. Kim is a good card. Mm. Isn't it sad? Mm-hmm. <laughs> You can't even, like, deny it. <laughs> uh, second main phase, I'm going to tap Elvish Mystic for a green and play an Elves of Deep Shadow. Uh, does that enter play? No, okay. thanks. Is it an artifact, land, creature, elf druid? No. <laughs> also, Tana made combat damage to that, so I also have uh, another two samplings. Mm -hmm. You do. I will pass the turn. Okay, at the end of your turn, I'd like to cast Brainstorm. Yeah. Sure. You got it. I'd like to draw three cards. I would like to uh, put two cards uh, back on top of my library yeah. in that order Ooh. and uh, put that over there and then untap <laughs> and in my upkeep crack this <laughs> scalding card going to 20. Here we go. And look at the top four and put this island into play. Tapped. <laughs> and then shuffle my library. Alrighty, so uh, after shuffling for my uh, fetch, I'm going to draw for my turn. Nice. It's another land. <sighs> Your boy. Armageddon. Here he comes. Oh no. <laughs> he might play that. I don't know that he I doesn't. I think that he does. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just going to pass the turn along. Alright. Tap. Draw for my turn. I'm going to play the Snow-Covered Island, tapped. As always, feels good. <laughs> what do we got here? What do we got going on? I've discarded a lot of cards so far. Um, I think I am just going to... Yeah, no, I'll do this. Uh, I'm going to tap these two. Uh, this one for a mana of a color. Sure. Uh, and then this one for a black. And I'm going to just cast this Blood Artist. Ooh. Just put it out there. And I will pass the turn. Okay. Proposition for you. Yes. Actually, no, it doesn't make a difference. Okay. No. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm going to. Do you know what they're talking about? I think he wanted him to attack with Thrasio so he could block the Maybe, mind sensor. But yeah, it would have been more useful on your turn. Yeah. If it would have influenced your play to um get play Zerk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because at this point I think the Aven Mind Sensor is screwing all of us more than it's helping me. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's fair. Evil's damage. It didn't look like it was gonna get there. 28. Yeah. Drucker. Pass the turn. Uh, at the end of your turn, I have an effect. I'm going to Assassin's Trophy, your guy's crew. Mm, good oh. play. Good play. Uh, okay, I'm going to search the top four cards in my library. For a basic land. Which comes in play tapped. <laughs> tapped. Yeah. Combo breaker. Bill oh! <laughs> okay. That's nice. I think that's why Assassin's Trophy is in this list. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'd have to ask Shaper. But... Yeah, I would play Assassin's Trophy Index with roommates. That seems like a combo. <laughs> and the A1 sensor. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I mean, Assassin's Trophy is insane anyway. Yeah. Decks that don't run a lot of basics. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, I have no further effects. I will then proceed to my untap step. I have five untapped sapperlings that can attack this turn. That's a lot. Five is so many. It's... And uh, evens, I take damage off of this mana crypt. I don't take damage off the mana crypt. Must be nice. Draw for turn. I really wish I had that guy's cradle. 
Yeah, I bet. I assume <laughs> so. <laughs> I like adding nine mana. Me too, man. Me too. I will... That's a... It's an 01. It's an 01? I'm going to swing three sapperlings at Bill, two at James. Yeah, okay. Uh, Tim Natana at Elliot. Okay. Uh, I will block one of the sapperlings. Yes. I will also block one of the sapperlings. Okay. I have no Fenix. So. So I'm taking two. I'm I take taking four. One. We have 21. I'm gaining two. And Elliot is going to 16. Yes. I have Elliot at 16. Me at 21. James is at 27. Seven. Yep. Yeah. And okay. Bill is at. Uh, you did block. 21. I have 21 because I blocked one of the sapperlings. Yeah. And then also with the sapperling, two yes. of the sapperlings, three of the <laughs> yeah, two, two sapperlings, two sapperlings and, and the Avon sensor. I'm going to drain a Jerry for three. Okay. okay. So Jerry goes to 16 and Bill goes to 24. Uh, second main phase, I'm going to pay three life, draw three cards. Go to 13. Oh, wait. Or, no. Because you gain two off of the Timna still, right? Yes. So you should oh, go to 15. 15. Yeah. 15. So one, two, three. You uh, make two more saplings. Oh, wow. Jeez. There's <laughs> so much got, stuff going on. I just got a sapling. So many part. triggers. You play the Blood Artist, I blame you. <laughs> I think it's interesting that Jerry's at 15 when I'm at 16, though. <laughs> yeah. After all, he's been attacking for like six every turn. I'm going to play Imperial Sea. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Uh, I think I might have an effect. Sure. Well, it's... Because the Avon Mines... Oh, no, it's on resolution. That's on resolution. Yeah, it's wow. Ah, um, uh, no. No, I don't. Okay. Imperial Seal. Jerry goes to 13. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get this card and put it right there. The Cardi guy. That one. Oh. You'll find out soon enough. Uh oh. I'm going to flash in a Soldier of Fortune. I'm going to pay one, two, three. Thr- <laughs> thr- <laughs> uh, City of Brass for white. Yeah. 12. 12 bricks. Uh, Savannah for white, so that's four, five, uh, taking a paint off the elves of the oh shadow. Oh goodness, Go eleven. 11. <laughs> Six. Add another. <laughs> Elvish mystic for seven, and uh, I'm gonna play this uh, Elvish Norn. Oh, I am glad I didn't counter the Imperial Seal. Uh, I would like to cast Arcane Denial. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Uh, you paid a life for that one. No. Right? Oh, blue. Oh one. yeah. Very yeah. Uh, then I will play Stomping Ground Tap. <laughs> Not on tap? Are you paying too light? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and move to discards. Yep. Discard. I have to discard one card. Uh, Ancient Tomb, because that, that seems a little risky at 11. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to untap, and then in my upkeep, I'm going to draw one, and you're going to draw two. Woo! Uh, and then I'm going to draw one from my turn. Hey, yeah. Uh, oh, let's see. Uh, ooh. It's risky business. How much mana do I have? Not enough. <laughs> you have say Okay, I'm going to get get risky with it, as it were. I'm going to pay two, go to 14. This is a uh, To play this tapped talisman of progress. And then... I'm going to tap this underground sea and cast an Imperial Seal. Mm. This is risky business. Okay, it's going sure. to 12. Uh, so off of my Imperial Seal, I'm going to get this card to the top of my library. Very good. And uh, then I'm going to pass the turn to my good friend Bill LePage. Oh, we're friends now? Nope. Okay. I lied. <laughs> Tricked him. Got him. I lied. You know, like a liar. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Ah. <sighs> I'm going to play this tapped, tarnished Citadel. It's so, so very tarnished. Um, Jerry, can I see your graveyard, please? Oh, no. There's, There's an Elishnorn in, in there. There certainly is. I would like to 
tap these three and cast Eternal Witness. Oh, oh. Targeting his uh, his reanimate, reanimate probably. Mm. We're all going to really low life totals. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna target this reanimate and attempt to put it back into my hands. Actually, reanimating Elshnorn isn't too bad for life total. It's effect. <laughs> nope. Yeah. 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 I have. Yeah. This is happening. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna reanimate your Elshnorn. Take seven. Please take seven. Uh, my oh, board. I, yeah. You can kill Jerry. I'm taking seven, um, but also each of your creatures that yeah. dies triggers my blood artist. Yeah. Are you going to be targeting me with everything? Uh, you're at eleven. Yes. Nine. Uh, yes. Oh. So you lose nine. I gain nine. Which I so I am at twenty-six. Uh, and 20, twenty-two. I was at twenty-four, wasn't I? Yeah, you were. At okay, 24. so twenty-four minus seven. Seven. Is and then I'm, sixteen. I'm nine. No, is seventeen. And then nine is twenty six. Yes, yep. yeah. math is hard, guys. Nine. James at two. Yep. All right. Uh, Timna to the graveyard. Tana to the command cell. Very good. Uh, Interesting. I'm going to move that to combat <laughs> and attack uh, Jerry for two with this blood artist, and Elliot for three with this Thrasios. I am dead. I go to nine. Thank oh, you yeah. for the Elishorn. Elishorn no longer. <laughs> ah, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, wow, <laughs> it did really what it good. needed to do. Yeah. Um, and I will. Ask the turn. Okay. What is this game? <laughs> Why do our games always end up like this? I'm gonna cast Imperial Seal. <laughs> I'm gonna go to 25. Okay, I'm getting this card, putting it on top, and passing the turn. What'd you get? What'd you I'll get? Buy you. Uh, <laughs> draw this. No, you don't have to like, tell us. No, I but... don't, but that's what it is, though. <laughs> I'm gonna untap. And I'm going to draw this card that I definitely did an Imperial Seal to the top of my library. Cool. Oh, would you look at that? Seal. Uh, I'm going to cast my commander, uh, Zerli Enchanter. Hey, there's no uh, root maze. You can. Uh, so I'm going to go to eight off of this, and then one, two, three, and cast him. Very good. And uh, I have seven cards in my hand, so I'm going to pass the turn. All right. What's that like? <laughs> so I'm gonna untap, and during my upkeep, I'm going to pay three life, or this deal, deals three damage to me, <coughs> and I am going to cast Silence. Yep. Uh oh. I got Bill at 23. In yeah, I have Bill at 23. No responses to Silence. I have no effects to Silence. Alright. I am going to draw. And I'm going to cast. Demonic Tutor. Mm. Yeah, we're silenced. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Alright, and off of the Demonic Tutor, I'm going to find this card, which I very nearly revealed to you guys, but I will be revealing anyway, because I am going to cast Necromancy targeting Leon Reliquor in the graveyard. Yeah, that's... Oh, um, uh, yeah, I hear that's a combo. Yep. Yeah, so for everybody at home, what's going to happen here is Necromancy is going to come into play, uh, and then it's going to return this Leon and Relic Order to play. Leon and Relic Order is going to exile the Necromancy... On Enter the Battlefield. On right. Enter the Battlefield. Uh, so it's going to be exiled underneath him. Uh, because the Necromancy has left play, I have to sacrifice the Leon and Relic Order... As a trigger. As a trigger, uh, which drains a player for one, which puts the Necromancy back into play, Returning the Leon and Relic Order. So it dies an infinite number <laughs> yeah. of times. It's, it's like a little bit more complicated than that. Yeah. It's um, like. Because it's not animate dev. But yeah, Necromancy enters the battlefield as an enchantment, it, not an aura. Yeah. And then it triggers, uh, <laughs> it turns itself into an aura and brings, <laughs> <laughs> brings Leon and Relic Order back. It has all this text. Here. It's not getting reprinted anytime soon. Yeah. <laughs> the gist of it is Bill gets infinite dies triggers off of the Leon and Relic Order, which yes. triggers Blood Artists to drain us to death. Yes. Yeah. What's your uh, end state? My end state is uh, <laughs> Elliot's at eight and James is at twenty-five, uh, so I gain thirty-three life. Yeah, so you, uh, end state is you are at uh, fifty-six, 56. And we're dead. Yes. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Technically, with the Leonin relic order in the graveyard and the, well, his trigger on the stack. Maybe. Well, here's the thing. It never really stops. So even as we play more games, uh, this is just always happening. Oh, yeah, he's I mean, in endless torment. Yeah, we filmed this in March, and some say it's still going to this very day. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was an awful showing from this deck. I'm not going to lie to you. And it, it is not a knock against the deck. Uh, uh, to be fair, you, you got Jin Gataxias, though. Yeah, that was, that was kind of So right. you got mana screwed, and then you lost your hand. 
of yeah. cards that would have been fantastic if you drew one land. Yeah, so. like my keep was uh, my my mulligan or my uh, opener was pretty greedy. I don't think we took pictures of our. No, nope, we, we don't know what they are. Them. But I uh, pulled a one lander with a mana crypt and a mox diamond. So I was really hoping to draw that second land yeah, no off kidding. of uh, yeah, my would first have been, draw. Would have been I, super uh, fun. So my hand, the only reason I kept is I had a turn two gave in it. Mm. And uh, against Anafenza and Tim Nadek, it was just like that. Well, that's a 5-5. Five five. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, really then you played the Thalia right before my turn, so I couldn't play my Mana Crypt uh, in order to get the game out. And uh, that changed everything, because then I was like, oh, I can cast Tana. And Tana put in Word. Yeah, she made like nine sacrilings? At least. Well, um, Alia did too. And the, the real reason it's real great that uh, the guy's cradle got destroyed when it did is uh, I had a skull clamp in my hand. Cool. <laughs> With all those sacrilings yeah. and a guy's cradle. I like making nine mana and then drawing 18 cards. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah my opening hand was uh, Ancient Tomb as my only land, uh, Talisman of Dominance, Lotus Petal, and I had a preordain that I could have cast on turn one off of the Ancient Tomb into Talisman of Dominance. And you cast Thalia the first. Thalia put in work. Yeah. It also prevented me <laughs> from uh, crop rotating my, what was it, a Savannah? Temple Garden. It was a Temple Garden. Uh, crop rotating my, my Temple Garden into a Black Source so that I could Toxic Deluge for four and get rid of the Jinga Taxes. Yeah. So I would be down uh, two cards instead, of, instead six. of six or however many cards I had in my hand. Yeah. yeah. Well, but the Thalia made the crop rotation cost two, so I rolled out this Dark Confidant, and I'm like, well, maybe we can start clawing our way back, and then Jerry popped it. <laughs> yeah. Instantly. That was really Yeah, bad. turn order made a big deal there, yes. because I was still, like, very much in that game because <laughs> Jerry was in between Bill and me <laughs> <laughs> with the Jenga Taxi some play. Yeah. Because, yeah, if it definitely was, like, if Ellie and I had switched, I would have absolutely let Jenga Taxi us discard hand. my hand too yeah obviously there's, for a stack stick like blood pot if i can get rid of 12 cards ish <laughs> for free yep. well, i'm doing that you like run sire of insanity right like that's just in the deck so having it be asymmetrical is just a bonus yeah, yeah. exactly um, a bonus yeah so I, like sorry noobzors but uh <laughs> maybe we'll see this deck on another episode yeah. James it's likes this deck. He'll probably play it. It's a again. really, really cool deck. Yeah, it is sweet. Um, and with all of the like um, multiple health lines in our meta. Yeah. You know, um, yeah, being able to shut down that down is nice. Yeah. Even, even like a reanimation. If you had another land, you would have been able to play Anafenza on two, which would have meant that I couldn't discard the Jinka Taxi to reanimate, mm -hmm. so you would have gotten to keep your yep. hand that was like two. Yeah, I mean also the so. Elish Norn. And uh, yeah, there was a lot of other things, right? I so. knew the Elish Norn wasn't going to resolve. I didn't think Elliot was going to be the one to count counter it. I knew as soon as I played it, it was going to eat Bill's pack negation. So the card I Imperial sealed was animate dead. Oh, <laughs> but I should have waited. I did it instead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was a uh, game for sure. Yeah, um, yeah definitely. Yeah, it was pretty wild. <laughs> <laughs> we'll uh, catch you guys next catch time. Next time. Have a good one. Like this. Hey, thanks for checking out the Spike Feeders on YouTube. If you like this content and you want to see more, make sure you click subscribe. If you love this content, click on the link to our Patreon. Every dollar helps us create more videos like this.